the boy I'd like to couple up with is. All the rumors are true, yeah. There's a rumor going round and round and round. Rumor has it. Picking out from Love Island episodes 4, Fallout, Harris walked over to Shaq to apologize, but instead of apologizing as the instigator, he had made an excuse telling Shaq it bothered him that he was called a shit stirrer. Now, Shaq wasn't having none of Harris's nonsense and called Harris immature. Stop trying to dad me. I'm not, not trying to dad you. Yeah, I think you are. I'm not trying I to dad you. I think you're trying to dad me, bro. Bro, you're the most like immature this. here. No, I'm not, man. You <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Shaq had so much patience for Harris, and when it looked like they were going to kick things off again, he maintained his composure, but when Harris started saying, don't try to dad me, I knew this convo was absolutely going nowhere. And I'm telling you, 100% of the people will say you're immature and you show your age. We'll leave this conversation, bro, because okay. I don't, I don't want to listen yeah, to you trying cool. to dad me. All, all right, right. Yeah. all right. Sorry, what? Zara was over Olivia and her shenanigans, telling David the reason Olivia was unsettled was because of her interest in Tom and that that interest was reciprocated. So essentially, Zara thinks that Olivia is jealous of her connection with Tom. Anywho, Olivia pulled aside Tom to sort of kind of explain herself. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't care. Ball game, shit, I, I, everyone. I apologize for making you upset. It's okay. Lana was inserting herself in drama that had absolutely nothing to do with her. She thought that Shaq was being way too forward and he was a little bit over the top to make Tanya jealous and I disagree. Harris was the one who was over the top doing way too much and speaking about doing way too much, Tanya went over to chat to David, babes, why? Anywho, David let her know that he has tunnel vision. Are you ready for me? Are you ready to say goodbye? Are you ready for me? Yeah, 100%. And just like David, Ron is now locked on Lana. He is putting 100% into his connection with her. Meanwhile, taking L's left, right and center is my man Shaq, who took an L when Tanya kissed three boys in the beer pong game. So she decided to apologize. And despite her apology, Shaq still felt like he was disrespected. My feelings don't change that quickly, obviously. If I didn't have feelings for her, then I wouldn't be so bothered. Zara and Olivia squashed their beef. They made up and hugged it out. You don't mean you to have beef. Like, it was just a passing comment. And on a positive note, up at the terrace, Lana and Ron share their first kiss that wasn't part of a challenge or a game. <laughs> Tanya and Shaq share a goodnight kiss and in the morning, Shaq received a text about the recoupling where the girls would be choosing who to couple up with and the boy who will not be picked will be dumped from the villa. With that, the boys began grafting. I've gone for what I want. Shit. Do you know what I mean? I've gone for what I want. Is this gonna work for me? Is it not? Let's find out in the recoupling ceremony. Starting off with Anna Mae who coupled up with Kai, Bombshell Zara coupled up with Tom, Olivia coupled up with Harris, and Tanya chose to couple up with Shaq. Next up, Tanyelle, who had Kai stolen from her, coupled up with Ron, and an upset Lana chose to recouple with Will. And sadly, David was dumped from the villa. Connections have already been made. I'm gutted obviously to be leaving back to normal life for me hey you thank you so much for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe